Well, everyone, we finally have one more week until my most anticipated movie of all time known as Trolls Band Together finally coming out in theaters after so long. So because of it, I'm going to start my review on me explaining why I love the sequel called Trolls World Tour as much as I love the first movie. So here we go. This movie is about Poppy and Branch discovering several more troll tribes that represent music genres other than their own. But trouble arises when Queen Barb, Queen of the Rock Trolls, plans to overthrow the foreign music genres to unite all trolls under rock music. Now let's all cut to the chase, shall we? Here are my reasons why I love Trolls World Tour as much as I love the first film and why it's also my number one favorite movie of all time. One, just like the first one in the Lego movies, since the Trolls movies are based on the old Troll dolls, of course, I love how it feels like an actual movie when it comes to the story and characters other than being a feature-length toy commercial. Two, the animation just got better than ever. I really love how the animation in the sequel improved from the first movie, making it more expressive, whimsical, and a little more cartoony than ever. Three. I love how the story of this sequel shows that the pop trolls aren't the only song genre that exists in the world of trolls. As King Peppy said in the movie, there are many other kinds of trolls than just pop, like funk, classical, techno, country, and rock. We'll talk about expanding the universe, am I right? 4. The characters that returned from the first movie are still memorable and likable, such as Poppy, branch, and more. But the new characters that are introduced in this sequel are also cool and likable as well. The best new character in my personal opinion is King Trollix. Like, I don't know why, but I love him. 5. Speaking of the new characters in this movie, specifically the main antagonist, Queen Barb is by far the best antagonist of the Trolls franchise. She is, without a doubt, a much better Trolls antagonist than Chef Bergen from the first movie. She's also behind Death the Wolf from Puss in Boots The Last Wish as one of my favorite DreamWorks slash animation villains as well. 6. The voice acting really still holds up from the first movie for being completely talented. That goes to the new voice actors slash actresses for the new characters as well, especially Anthony Ramos as King Trollix. 7. The soundtrack for this sequel is like the soundtrack from the first movie, but bigger and superior in many ways. My favorite song from this movie is Anthony Ramos aka King Trollix's voice actor's cover of One More Time, which is an original song by Daft Punk, because it's a fantastic kickstart to an epic sequel in my opinion. 8. The chase scenes are really fun to watch, especially the leaving lonesome flat scene where Hickory helps out Poppy, Branch, Biggie and Mr. Dinkles in order to escape from Delta Dawn and the citizens from the country troll town. 9. I may not be a K-pop stan nor a reggaeton stan either, but the scene where Branch gets involved in a dance fight between the K-pop trolls and the reggaeton trolls is insane. Branch danced so much better with the reggaeton trolls than the K-pop trolls. He really killed it. And 10. The third act is amazing, intense, and more energetic than the first, as it shows Queen Barb's chaotic rock concert after collecting all of the strings, but when Poppy breaks Barb's guitar for what she has done, everything went black and white until the trolls figured out that their music and harmony comes from their heart and experiences, and everything went back to normal in the best way possible. So yeah. Now, before I wrap up my review for this movie, do I have any criticisms for this movie? Well, honestly, guys, I can't think of any other flaws other than Branch unexpectedly lost his vibrant colors from the last act of the first movie and the, and the absence of some characters from the first movie as well, especially DJ Suki. But like I said in my review on the first movie and many and many other shows and movies that I like slash love so much, the positives 
outweigh more than the negatives. So yeah. Overall everyone, like the first movie, I love it. I love it as much as I loved the first movie back in 2016. It even changed my world like the first one as well. This is without a doubt the best sequel I've ever seen in my life. And of course, it's also my number one favorite movie of all time. I love it straight from the heart, even if I have reasons for me to love it. Once again, as an autistic person, the Trolls franchise will always be with me for many years to come, no matter how old I am. Trolls World Tour is cinema. I give Trolls World Tour a 10 out of 10. So yeah everyone, this concludes my review on Trolls World Tour leading up to Trolls Band Together and I can't believe it, I finally made it this far. I finished reviewing the first two Trolls movies leading up to Trolls Band Together! Now I'm finally free to be excited for Trolls Band Together coming out in next week. I just can't wait for it. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.